Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. This right here is the Sunpack infrared heater and today we're going to be replacing it. Just open the control panel if you look inside everything is burnt out and that's why today we're going to be replacing this. I'm going to start by disconnecting the electrical. We got two cables coming in here and it get tied in so we got 24 volts coming in also coming out feeding another one of these heaters so let's begin by taking apart these wires okay and then we have this gas line we got to take apart here's the valve it's actually in a closed position and then we have a union so it looks like you're just gonna take off the union and then this thing will be free to drop and we'll rebuild it from the floor Whew. gas valve was already closed So there's some sort of bracket on top and there's two screws holding it on the edge and we should be able to drop this if we do it on both sides. So take off the sec take off the next screw and hold it up. Make sure it doesn't fall. Okay. Take the screw out. It's loose now. Alright, hold up. Pass me the drill. Right, just hold that up. I'm going to take off these screws and we're going to take it down. Hold on. Make sure you got a good grip, alright? Alright, bring it down. Alright. Come down the ladder. All right, we got it out. Here's our new unit, same exact one. Just took it out of the packaging. I know there's like a little dent over here. Hmm. Shouldn't be much, but anyways, electrical comes in here and this is our gas connection. It goes right into the gas valve. So what I want to do is take this apart and rebuild it for here. So then we could just connect that last union up top. So let's go ahead by taking this out. So we're holding back on the gas valve. Let's see if we can get this to go. Okay. I got it. This pipe wrench really is not good. Now you can let go. All right. So pretty much we just got to rebuild this back onto the new one. All right, so this is Blue Monster PTFE pipe thread sealant. This is a paste and it is actually good for water lines and gas lines. So this was recommended at the shop and you could also use mega tape if you'd like. It's good for gas and water lines. Personally, I usually use this so I kind of feel safer with that. So I might just put some of this on this thread and close it up. Used a bit of the mega tape, never had a problem with this. So let's go ahead and get this started. What I got to do is actually line up this gas valve because it's a bit off from where the hole is. So let's see if I can get this started. All right, let's get that tight in my hand. 
and then snug it down. Uh, maybe one more time around. All right, we'll hold him back. Let's go ahead and give this a nice spin. Next, I have a little connector in here, which I'm gonna use to bring in our power. I'm gonna, let's bring it up, just like that. Make sure you got a good grip. Get this almost in place. All done. Yeah. All right, hold it. Okay. You come on that side now. All right, let go. It's holding. Got to get one more screw in here. Everything is supported. What we got to do is get this union on. Tighten it down, open up the gas valve, make sure there's no leaks. If there's no leaks, then I'll continue to go and install the electrical, but I wanna make sure of that first in case anything needs to be adjusted or whatever. So let's go ahead and tighten this down. I'm gonna open up the gas valve and check for leaks. As long as we got no leaks, we should be good to go could use this micro gas leak detector and I also have a, an electronic combustible gas leak detector let's go ahead and make sure we got no leaks all right everything's looking good I'm gonna go ahead and bring in our existing wires And then we gotta wire our 24 volts, which is gonna be these two wires. So let's go ahead and get all these spliced together. All right, I just had my partner turn on power. All right, we got 24 volts. I wanna see who's the hotline. Got it. All right, so this one's our 24. And it says the blue. 24 only so i'm gonna put the blue to the hot and then the green to the common let's see what happens all right we got chris going to turn the power on right now let's see what happens all right i see a little flame and it's heating up look at that we're already at 300 degrees 400 degrees beautiful that's a beautiful thing you can see it glowing it's so hot my meter can't even read it look at that 936 degrees we got about a thousand degrees up there wow that's awesome all right guys we're gonna wrap it up from here everything's good just got to close up this panel make sure the electrical connections are secure but that's pretty much it if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and I'll catch you all next time.